Hello, hello, good evening. Is anybody there? Hello, good evening. Good evening, can you hear me well? Yes. Hello, hello good evening. Okay, that's great. Um, let me check. I'm, I'm just trying to change my background. Uh, yeah, this is the one. So just let me know if you can see me when I turn it on. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, can you see me? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, uh, right now I only see Irma, Roxana. Okay, yes. Luis Gustavo, nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, just for today, let me change my name. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> okay, Roberto, Ana Mariela. Good evening. Francisco. Good evening. Welcome. Maria Eugenia, Diana, Juan Jose. Perfect. So, um Good evening. Good evening, guys. It's a pleasure to see you again. Okay, nice to see you again, I'm, I'm not sure if you if you knew that I was going to be with you uh, on this module, but here I am. What? Great. You didn't know? No. No, we didn't. We didn't. Okay. Well, they asked me that, if I if I wanted it's a good to. Surprise. <laughs> They wanted. They asked me if I wanted to to have the group, and I was like, "Okay, let me think about it for one second. <laughs> for one second, and I said yes. I, of course, I like this group. I love this group. So, yes, mm -hmm. I don't have any problem to continue working with that. So, uh, good evening. Good evening, Jackie. Nice welcome. So, Thank guys, you. Roberto, Irma, Luis, uh, Maria Eugenia. Uh, Welcome to the intermediate module number two or level two. Okay, I had the chance to be with this uh, with the level one in the last month or month and one week. <laughs> so uh, we just finished the, the module on Tuesday for your information, right? So you have an idea. Well, on Monday, sorry. So Good Tuesday, evening. Good evening, Jack. I mean, it's not, it wasn't Jack, it was Blanca who was Blanca. speaking, right? <laughs> yeah. So, Blanca, it's good to have you here. So, um, they finished the module on Monday, so they only had two days off for vacation. That was on Tuesday and Wednesday, but I imagine that that it was a good time for, for them. This module, we have, uh, we start today we we continue tomorrow and then we have vacations right so we come back to classes on, on the ninth so we only have two days of classes and then you go on vacation so that's great news okay so you can get more energies right relax a little bit more and get ready for the rest of the module so we are going to be finishing in well on september 8th okay um so that's for your information, okay? For your information. And for your information, okay, I am going to be sharing with you some info, some more information, okay, about this module, about myself, and about other important things that you need to consider for the rest of the course. Um, so how are you feeling today or this night? Really good? Yes. yes. Yeah, good. 
good. Uh, it's it's Thursday, tonight. so it's like a mini Friday, right? So uh, it's, it's better than Monday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a lot. Okay, excellent. So uh, the majority of, of the classmates that you will have here, uh, Luis, Irma, Roberto, and uh, we have Maria Eugenia. Uh, they were together in the previous module. So they, they kind of know each other very well. And now you're going to uh, be part of this great team, okay? So you will see in the breakout rooms, in the different activities that we do, that is really easy to, to work with these guys. Uh, they are excited, motivated to learn English, to practice. So it's going to be really good for everybody, right? To have new members in the team. And I can see that you're, that you're, you're smiling, right? That you're happy. So that's a good sign, right? That you are uh, motivated to be in this class. Let me check the, con the internet connection because I see that it's a little bit low right now. So maybe if I change this, mm, I think it's better now. Yes. Okay. So more people are connecting. Uh, we have Jennifer, Floor, uh, Anna Elizabeth, and we have Suleyma here. Awesome. Okay. They're missing more Hi, people. Okay? This group is going to be uh, bigger. Hello, Elizabeth. Nice to hear you. Then Yanari is connecting to. Uh, so in the meantime, quickly. Uh, Hello, teacher. Hello. Yeah. Where Hello. Are where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Which part of El Salvador? I'm from of Nehapa. Nehapa. Wow. Okay. So we are. We have the first. Ne Neha Pensa here. <laughs> okay. Right. The majority, the majority of, of the students are from San Salvador, from the central uh, part of the of the country, right? So you're going to have more interaction with them later. Uh, Luis Gustavo, what about you? Uh, hello, I'm <clears throat> I'm from Aguachapan. Aguachapan. So okay. Yes. Nice. I was in Aguachapan on my last vacation. It's really beautiful. Uh, really nice yeah but I'm, I'm, I, I'm working in San Salvador so yes yes ah, okay. I live all, all the week in in San Salvador mm -hmm. and the weekend I go back for our Japan. Japan okay yes. okay thank you nice to meet you uh Roberto I live in San Salvador you live in San Salvador and you're from San Salvador yeah. too yeah yeah so you're 100 percent Catalina right <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, nice to meet you, mister. Then we continue with, I don't know, I think we lost connection with Ma Maria Eugenia. So, uh, well, the rest of your classes are already here. So we're going to receive the rest of them later on. So um, let me just check one more thing here. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're let's get started. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you, okay, to introduce the module and introduce myself a little bit more formally. I think that I didn't have the chance to do that uh, in the previous module. Um, so here we go. So this is the English for Work program, okay? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, yes, perfect. Yes. Excellent. Uh, so this is the intermediate module number two. Okay, so we're, we're going up, right? And Hopefully, I, 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 I would like to see you, right, get into the advanced and finishing all the modules and being like a pro, right, using the language and for work and for any other purpose, okay? So um, I encourage you, right? I encourage you to keep that motivation of learning and improving 
every single day, right? So the good things about this course is, first of all, that it's for free. Second of all, that you can take it at, at home, right? So you are comfortable in, the, in your favorite place. Um, it's every day and it's two hours. So that's a lot of diff positive things, right? That you have to consider. And uh, for the people that came from the previous module, well, congratulations, because you did a tremendous job in the previous module and you continue here. So that's a reason to be happy for me. And well, my name is Freddy Emilio Marquez Sosa. Okay, uh, most people call me Freddy, um, but I don't have any problem with my name. Okay, so. Uh, uh, this is a little bit more about myself. Uh, I try to wear the same shirt for today, so you recognize me. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is just some general information about my background uh, in education and also at uh, work. So I got a bachelor's degree. I got, a, I got, let's say, three opportunities to study uh, abroad. So, one well two uh, are uh, i had to move to the us and the other one to costa rica and the other one was online so thanks to the us embassy and i got different uh, i have taken different courses right so in case that you have doubts about translation interpretation and other things related to the english area i'm here to help you out uh, I have been working for Inglés Corporativo since, um, let me check, May, June, no, April, April, I think. And yeah, May, June, July. Yeah, I think it's almost by the end of April. Um, as an English teacher, I have been working for almost 13 years. So in October, I'm going to be 13 years old teaching. Um, I have worked in different programs in different institutions uh, from UCA and MINED. That was a, a program, a national program to train uh, English teachers from the public schools. Uh, that was a great experience. And also in uh, the program where I work during the week, and that is my permanent job, it's called Superate. So I, I give classes to students with uh, who get a scholarship and they come from low income families. I work previously, previous to that, I work at Centro Cultural, at uh, Academia Europea, and uh, also at university, right? Here in San Miguel, by the way, I, I am from San Miguel. I was not born here. I actually, I was born in Honduras, but I have lived all my life in El Salvador because my mom and my family is from here. So it's a long story, but yes, I'm 99% Salvadoran and I would say 90% Migueleño. <laughs> I just got a little bit of experience living in La Union. So um, basically that's my background, okay, in general. Uh, so I love what I do, and that's the reason why I am here tonight. Okay, and I will be here, God willing, for the rest of the course, right? So there are no inconveniences, uh, because we are going through a difficult situation, right, around the world. So God willing, everything is going to be all right. And if you have any other doubts about myself, you can let me know. If not, no problem. I'm going to move on with the next, um, steps, right? That is the requirements. Uh, I hope that you remember a little bit of Spanish. Okay, I hope that you remember some Spanish. So everything here is in Spanish, but I got a feeling that you're going to understand what it says. So the requirements is that when you enter the classes, you need to have your full name. Okay, so if you don't know how to change your name, you know that there are three little, well, there are three little dots next to the, well, at the upper corner of your picture, you see three dots and the options are mute, stop video. Well, stop video is for me, I think. No, no, it's for everybody, stop video. Pin, spotlight for everyone, hide, self view, edit, uh, profile picture, 
you can change the profile picture in case you you want to have one and the last option is rename so you can change the name and write down your complete name right your full name so that's the first thing when you connect you need to uh, have your complete name so maybe for example we have Luis Gustavo right uh, it says Luis Gustavo let me check if I see the other Luis Gustavo Adolfo what is the other name I don't I do not see it the other last name Asensio Cristales Asensio Cristales okay I have so three, you have names. three names yeah three names yes, and two exactly. last names okay Yes. So Luis Gustavo Adolfo Asensio Cristales. So you see, that's the complete exactly. name. Right? Jessica Yanari, Cortez, Jacqueline Samara. So you go eh, Morales. And I cannot see the, the whole name, right? But but yes, that's something that you have to do, right? Uh, keep your complete name. Then the next requirement is in the case of listeners, right? Uh, for the people who are participating for the first time and you didn't enroll in the course on time for different reasons, but you want to be part of this, uh, in parentheses, you're going to add the word oyente, okay? Uh, we have people in the previous course that we had three people who were oyentes or listeners, and now they are part of the group, right? Officially. So like, they will get the diploma from directly, right, from, from Insaforp. So it's a process, right? But the good thing is that you get diplomas even if you are a listener from Inglés Corporativo, right? So that it certifies that you uh, fulfilled all the requirements, okay? Uh, the camera has to be on during the whole session. This is for different reasons, okay? But the most important is to check that everybody is connected, is, is there, because sometimes people get connected and then they go and watch a movie or take a nap, right? And they just leave the connection there, but they are not really there. And the second reason why it's really important for, for, for me as a teacher is to see each other, okay? To have this sensation that it's, face-to-face uh, -face, uh, interaction, right? So I, I am not talking to to a profile picture or to uh, to a name, right, on the screen. So I don't feel that I'm talking to myself. Or to, uh, and when you have the interaction with your classmates in the breakout rooms or during the session, you can see each other, right? So it's an opportunity to interact and feel closer somehow, because we know that virtually is totally different to in-person communication. But when we see each other in video calls, it feels better, right? So uh, communication has different levels or different forms, different ways. Uh, if you send a message to someone, it's good, right? You feel great. If you receive a voice message, you feel better because it's like, hey, that's her voice or his voice. If you have a normal call, it's nice because it's live interaction, right? So you ask a question, you get an answer. If it is a video call, it's better for you, right? Because um, you, you see each other and you feel that the person is close to you, right? So he's paying attention to you, you are paying attention to him. So there are many reasons why we request, right? That you have the camera on. Um, of course, in the cases that uh, you have a technical problem or you have poor connection, internet connection, it happens, especially when it's raining. Uh, or let's say that you are not feeling really well and it's like, uh, not the I'm sorry, I cannot turn on my camera right now. I, I'm really sick, so I'm just going to be listening. I'm sorry, right? So you communicate, that's important. Communication is important. Uh, you are going to be part of our WhatsApp group. I suppose that, well, actually, I think I, I forgot to join the WhatsApp group. Um, not quite sure if we're gonna keep the same one, but I'm going to check that later on. Uh, so we can communicate about the course, right? About the classes, uh, share information there. So any doubt, we're going to be communicating through the through the group, okay? So the purpose of the group is just for the, the course, it's related to everything 
that has to do with English, that is the only purpose of the group, right? If you have a personalized interaction with somebody else, maybe one of your friends from the group, then you do it apart, right, in a, in a private chat. Uh, minimize the ambience sound as much as possible. This is especially uh, in the cases where, in the place where you live or in the place where you are, there's a lot of noise, maybe a lot of kids playing or a lot of cars passing by, or you are driving. So maybe you, you better uh, mute the microphone, right? Uh, or move to a place that is not so, so noisy. Maybe your family is watching TV and you are like, mm, this is not a good idea, right? Uh, they are watching Perreo videos, so no, you better go to your bedroom and try to disconnect from the uh, interference or distractions, right? Um, or they're watching the selector, right? And you are in class, so it's a lot of noise. And then uh, active participation. So uh, students who were with me in the last module, you know that that is a very essential part of the, of well, of these sessions, especially with me, right? I, I like that my students participate, they ask questions, they volunteer, they interact. So I'm not speaking all the time, okay? The purpose is not that I practice English because I have been practicing English for more than 13 years. Uh, the purpose is that you use the language, right? So um, do you have any, any questions here so far? No, no, no. Nope. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure. okay. No. Good to know. About participation, something that is really important, I'm going to mention three things that are really important. Number one, remember that you are a student, you are a learner. And for that reason, it is totally normal. It is expected. I expect that you make mistakes, that you don't know some things. So, don't feel in shy or intimidated or afraid of making mistakes because you are the student. I am the teacher. So I am the one that has to be worried about not making mistakes. In your case, it is totally normal that you make mistakes. Number two, nobody in this class is going to make fun at you. Okay. It's make, going to make fun of you. Sorry. Uh, nobody's going to laugh at you. Right. Uh, because everybody here re respects each other. So we're going to laugh if something, if we say a, something funny, right? Uh, maybe I tell you a joke or a little comment that was funny, uh, but not because somebody made a mistake. That doesn't happen here. So don't worry about that. Bullying doesn't exist, okay? The good news is that you are adults, you are workers. So you know that you are in this course to learn. So, and the point number three, remember that the best way to learn is by practicing. So practice makes perfect, as they say, and the more you practice, the more you improve. So if you want to speak English, speak, <laughs> right? If you want to improve your listening, you need to be exposed to listening to things in, in English. If you want to improve your reading, you're not going to write, you're going to read to often, right, frequently. So it's like that, practice makes perfect. So remember that every opportunity that you have to practice, do it because that's the way that you learn. And let's go on. Uh, about the attendance, you try, you need to do your best to be in the 100% of classes uh, unless, right, like it's something that you cannot control maybe a little accident or something happened, um, that would be the case, right? Um, the attendance is not just uh, to be present, but like to also check, right? That you were present at the beginning, in the middle and at the end of the class. So we're going to be taking the attendance three times, right? And different times at eight, at nine, and 9.55. Uh, it's going to be considered valid 
when you say present, presente, here, over here, here I am, okay? Uh, and have your camera on, okay? Uh, the sessions, there will be sessions one-on-one -on -one, uh, for all participants, right? Uh, except the listeners uh, at the end of the session. So there are going to be 10 extra minutes for you to ask any question that you have about the class, about English, about something that you want to improve. I will be there for those 10 minutes to help you in a private, personalized, it's not private, it's a personalized session, right? I'm going to tell you the, I'm going to share with you the list so you know what day you are supposed to stay in, in, the, in the last 10 minutes. And uh, permissions, I cannot, you cannot tell me, teacher, can you give me permission? I don't have the, the, the possibility of doing that. You can ask in Inglés Corporativo. No, they, we don't control permissions, okay? In the end, these are all requirements that INSAFOR gives you and gives us that we need to follow. So it's not something... Uh, that we control, okay? It's not in our hands. Um, so that's something that I, that I that you need to know, right? And remember. And about assignments, I don't like the word homework. I like the word assignments or challenges, right? And evaluations, right? Evaluations. It is necessary to have at least eighty percent average average in your assignments and evaluations to complete or to be able to complete this course satisfactorily. So uh, that means that if you have at least 80% in the scores right at the end of the of the module and you have the attendance, you're done. Okay. So you're ready to, to go to the next module. The assignments are in the platform in uh, English Corporativo, right? Uh, there's a, a, a website where you can enter uh, with your username and everything, and then you can do the assignments. You can watch the videos for the classes. You can have access, right, to exercises to practice and the homework. Um, so right after the class, the assignments will be there. All the assignments are from the topics, right? And that we see in class, and they have to be completed every Friday by midnight. So this is like Cinderella, right? At midnight, the time is over, so you have to be done. On every Friday, I am going to be checking, right, that everything is, is ready, or probably I will check it on Saturday morning. So at midnight on Friday is the last time that you have to complete the exercises for every week. What is the purpose? First of all, because we they, we need to send in support, right? Weekly reports of the students' progress. And second, because if you do the assignments as we are finishing the classes, right? Or as we are studying every week, you remember, okay, the information. So it's easier for you to complete the exercises. What happens if you accumulate, right? one week, two weeks, three weeks, and then you try to do everything in, in one day, it's not possible. And you're going to, uh, it was going to be more difficult for you to remember what you study in the first week, right? Or in the first class. So you will have to study one more time. So it's more difficult if you accumulate the assignments. So um, the deadline, to finish the midterm or what we call examen medio or parcial is on Wednesday, August 25th. So you take notes, right? Deadline, right? Fecha limite for the midterm, August 25th before midnight, okay? Uh, then the deadline to finish the with the final exam is Wednesday, September 8th before midnight. So that is the last day of the curse. Okay, so we are finishing the curse on September and then the manual, okay, where you see all the exercises. All, I mean, not 
all the x-ray but all the contents that we are going to study in classes you can download download it from the platform we respect copyrights right so we don't use materials from other resources unless we have the permission right to do it so um that's something really really important for you to keep in mind and about zoom okay about zoom so this platform is complete it's really really good uh so you have the silent or the mute or silencio right bottom that you can use at any time for example i can continue speaking and if i stop or i, I click on the mute bottom so you cannot hear anything if, if you if you press that that bottom so people are not going to hear what you say so you can you need to remember that right uh because sometimes we forget to turn it on when we want to speak or when we're speaking and sometimes we forget to turn it off when we're not speaking and then we hear the el pan el, the dog barking and right uh the music playing so it's a little bit of interference right during the session the camera okay the same thing next to the mute button you see the camera so you can stop the video right automatically you can activate it and you have uh, virtual backgrounds that you can change for example i can use this one uh, i can use this one and any other picture that i download there are some videos that you can use as well uh the beach okay that's this is next week right for example um or if you go to the mountains you can use that one so uh, there are you can upload images right there is a little symbol of plus or add that you can where you can add pictures that you like and uh we have some video filters that we were using in the last class right uh that probably we're not going to be using them but just for special days maybe we have a celebration or something and we use uh i don't know this ones right um or we have a little parade and we are or the celebration for the graduation uh so there are many things that you can find here in case you want to use them one day so for protection we wear the mask and we go like that right so it's really cool uh it has a lot of tools that we can use for different purposes okay um so basically that's something that i wanted to to mention right that uh, zoom offers a lot of different options for you and you probably uh it would be good that you try to check the different tools if it is new for you um like sharing screen is really important when you're uh working with your classmates or you have to present something to the class uh, you can change information about your profile okay and uh, rotation yep like that and that's it right so zoom has a lot of different tools a lot of different options so try to learn how to use them right then we have the chat in the chat you can send a message to all the class or directly to one person or to me right if you want to tell me something like teacher i'm sorry right now i cannot turn on my camera i, I cannot participate because i am driving to my house okay so i will be there in five minutes that's a private message that you want to send me okay if you say hey guys i found a really good video i'm going to send the link through the chat you can open it okay so you share some links right or some information about or there's a name of an app i'm going to send you a name of the app right duolingo you can download it it's really good um and we go like that okay um so that's about the chat the breakout rooms is something that i'm going to be administrating right so you can go and practice with specific classmates and the bottom ask for help okay uh, maybe you had a problem or you have a doubt in the breakout room and you don't remember the 
for example, the question. What is the question? I don't remember. Do you remember? No, I don't remember. So you press the button, ask for help, and I will receive the message, like Batman, right? So I go to the breakout room and I ask you, hey, what happened? And then you tell me, teacher, we forgot the question that we were going to discuss. Can you help us? So I will help you out. Okay, so that is the information about Zoom. And I guess that's all for the general information that I have to share with you. Do you have any doubts about Zoom, about the course, about the teacher, about the attendance, about the participation, the evaluations, the assignments, the platform, anything? This is your moment. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Irma? Uh, I didn't understand when you said that uh, some people have to to write oyente uh -huh. in the beginning of the, I don't know uh, what is this because I have never uh, seen that. So this is the first so, time that you that you take a, an English course with the English Cooperativo? No, I was in the beginner in the beginner, yes, beginner one. Ah, but okay. I yes, I did the the exam, the test, uh -huh. and I was assig uh, assignada Assigned. to the, uh -huh, to yes to this group. To okay. the yes, to this group. Okay, excellent. So the oyente uh, is for the people that want to be in the in the in the course but they didn't enroll on time, okay? Los que no se matricularon a tiempo pueden participar como oyentes y uh, al final del curso se les va a dar su diploma, si cumplen con los requisitos, ¿verdad? Se les va a dar su diploma de parte de inglés corporativo que completaron el nivel y para el siguiente nivel ya mandan su documentación a tiempo y todo lo demás de parte de la empresa, ¿verdad? Eh, y ya pueden ellos aparecer ya inscritos en el siguiente módulo, ya oficialmente en el listado de Insafor. Entonces, sí. eh, el oyente son esas personas que se agregaron al, después, un poco tarde al curso, sí. y por esa razón no se pudieron inscribir y no se, mand, no se mandaron en el listado uh, para Insafor. Entonces, sí son parte del curso, pero eh, no están en, inscritos en el listado como que hicieron todo el procedimiento a tiempo. Entonces están como oyentes y para el siguiente módulo pues ya se incorporan en el listado de forma oficial, digamos así, para que reciban el diploma directamente de Insafort. ¿Ok? Ok. En ese yes. caso es especial es el que se pone el de oyente. Um, y como ya oh. lo decía también, hay personas que ya estuvieron en el módulo anterior y ahora ya, ya, ya están eh, inscritos directamente ¿verdad? en el listado principal de Insafort porque ya hicieron toda la documentación a tiempo, ¿ok? Mm. Presentaron la documentación okay. a tiempo. Uh -huh. So, that's the exception, yeah. ¿ok? But the okay. class and the activities, everything, it's, it's basically the same, right? For everybody. Except okay. for the last 10 minutes, right? That is uh, for the people that are in the, in the list, uh, in the official list. So, that is the only, the only, um, rule or the only explanation that I that I have to give about that okay thank you okay you're welcome anybody else Roberto? I just miss about the explanation about the breakout rooms because someone came to ask me to ask ah, me okay so no I the breakout listen. rooms are uh, I am going to administrate that so you don't have to worry about that so when I uh, create breakout rooms Randomly, for example, you are 20. I create four breakout rooms with five students in each. So when I open the, the breakout rooms, you will receive an invitation to join the breakout room and you accept it and automatically you're going to be in a mini group with some students, okay? So to practice conversation, to discuss, to complete an exercise, right? So do different activities. So it's like a private room, okay, where you're going to be interacting and practicing with other classmates. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. My pleasure.
So if you don't have any questions about this information, I am going to uh, stop sharing and share with you the manual, okay, that we are going to be using for this module. So here it is, okay? So this is the map of the book, right? So as I was telling you before, this is the intermediate level two, as you can see here. Intermediate module two, right? National English for Word program. And the information, right, that you have here, the, the welcome and everything, the contents. So this is something important because give, it gives you an idea about what we're going to be studying. In the last module, what was the main topic? Guys, do you remember? What was the question? What was the main restaurant. topic? The, the restaurant industry, correct. The restaurant industry. So we were talking about many things related to the restaurants, the, the, the people who work at a restaurant, the different uh, responsibilities, how to create a menu, how to uh, administrate personnel, how to, uh, let's say, evaluate how to make sure that people are working right with surveillance cameras uh, with evaluation methods etc 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 so it was a complete module focused on the restaurant industry it was not just talking about food okay uh and now in this in this module we have four units number one is product development so now we're getting to the industry, right? Getting to the industry. So this is going to be more related to, um, let's say, creating a product. So it's different. And the unit two, we have product testing. Unit three, the production line. And unit four, assessing risk. So how to evaluate risks in this process of creating a new product. Okay, so it's going to be really, really important really interesting i think that it's something that we a lot of people don't know how it works but in this module you are going to learn okay so um in the map of the book you're going to see all the competencies that you will develop during the the course the vocabulary to be learned and uh, in each unit and the skills okay the skills that you're going to develop so basically we have four skills okay in, in the language speaking listening reading and writing speaking is going to be developed in every single class uh, your classmates can tell you about this uh, if you are new in this module with me uh, because something that for me is really important is that you speak i mean it's okay that you listen and you understand. It's okay that you read and you understand. It's okay that you write and you express your ideas. But one of the most important skills is speaking. Because in real life, uh, when you interact with someone, it's usually in person, right? Through a call, through a conversation. So you need to know how to speak, okay? Uh, so for that reason, I pay a lot of attention to speaking. And of course, grammar is also important because it's the skeleton, the skeleton of the language, right? So if you know how to use grammar, you know how to speak properly, you know how to write properly, and it's easier for people to understand what you are trying to, to say. Juan Jose, you raise your hand. What is the question? <clears throat> the manual, where, where do you find? Okay, the manual, the manual. is... The manual, it's on the platform, okay? Uh, I am going to be sharing that with you also when I have the, the group, when I, when, when I check the WhatsApp group, but you can find it online in the platform, okay? In the resources, it's there, okay? okay? So um, just pay attention to the first one, right? In grammar, we have present perfect, reduction of an adverb, clauses of time. Okay, that's top listening pasta foods new product uh, 
how to, uh, to make a SWOT analysis. Okay, SWOT analysis. So this is really good. I like I like to do this because it's basically uh, the four aspects that you consider when you evaluate your employees, when you evaluate yourself, right? Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. That in Spanish we call it. Foda, uh -huh. foda, correct. Just for you to have an idea, right, about what we're going to be studying. So it's something really, really important. Okay, so there you have. This is what we're going to be studying. And as you could see in the unit one, we have product development. So that's the first thing that we're going to be doing. Um, but before that, before that, let me uh, make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, perfect. So you will be able to describe specific activities that take place at the stages of a product development process. Okay, so I am going to share with you something else right now. Wait a second. right here uh, so when we talk about products what comes to your mind when I say the word products uh-huh maybe the coca-cola everything that we buy Maybe Coca-Cola, that has to do with marketing, right? Because there are some products that are very popular. Uh, something that we buy, yes, that is another uh, shopping, right, in general. So uh, that is something that uh, people associate with products. There's a new iPhone, I want to buy it. There is a new car, I want to buy it uh there is a new i don't know any product that is popular right so people want to buy it so uh, something that we associate with products is shopping okay something that we associate with that so um what questions what questions can you ask about shopping okay so i'm going to ask you three questions and you are going to discuss that so first question how often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy question number one how often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy question number one take notes how often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy question number two what aspects are important in a product for you okay for you what aspects are or characteristics are important in a product what do you look for in a product when you go shopping do you go for the price do you go for the quality do you go for the i don't know the the color the brand the if the product is new, if it is trending, if it is classic, what do you look for in the product? And Luis Gustavo, what is the question? Uh, please, can you repeat the first question? The first question, perfect. The first question is, how often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy? How often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy? Okay, and the number three, Beatriz, question? Teacher, could you mind repeating the second question, please? Okay, the second question is about what aspects do you look for in a product? What characteristics, okay, do you look for in a product when you Thank go you. shopping? Uh -huh. Or what, are, what aspects are important for you, okay, in a product? It's the same question, right? In summary. And the last one, what has been 
this is uh, good and bad, right? The last question, what has been the best purchase that you have had or that you have made and what has been one of the worst <laughs> purchases that you have made? Okay, una de sus mejores y sus peores compras, okay, que han hecho. So, uh, for example, I can tell you, right, that one of my best purchases uh, has been my camera. Uh, I bought a semi-professional camera in 2017. And I, I have the camera, I still have the camera, and I love the pictures that I take with the camera. So it was good quality, it, it's really easy to use, I love it. One of the worst purchases that I have had uh, was a, a cell phone that I bought. I bought a, a Samsung S6, I think that was in 2016. But it was so weak, devil, right? That it just fell off my hand in uh, once and the screen broke down. I mean, all the screen was broken into pieces. So I just had the product for the cell phone for three or four months and that and goodbye cell phone. So for me, that was one of the worst purchases. Um, about how often I go shopping. I go shopping probably once a month. And what do I usually buy? I usually buy uh, things for my, for my pets for me, like things that I like, for example, tea. I like to buy tea uh, or coffee. And snacks, healthy snacks. And um, I also buy some things for, for the house. And the second question, uh, what aspects I look for or what aspects are important for me or the most important for me when I buy a product or when I look for a product is quality. For me, quality is the most important. Uh, durability of the product, because I don't like to buy something that is going to last just one month and then doesn't work. So, uh, but I try to buy something that is not too expensive. So I also pay attention to the price. Okay, something that is good quality, but not too expensive. That's those are my answers, okay? Just to give you an example. Now, are the three questions clear for you? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Perfect. So I am going yes. to send you to the breakout yes, rooms. You are going to practice with two more people answering the three questions, okay? For this activity, you are going to have, let me check exactly nine minutes okay nine minutes so go straight to the point question one blah 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 blah, blah. question two this and this and this question three this and this and this okay you can take notes if you want and when you come back you can share some comments some information with us ready set and let me check go uh one two three one two three yes one two three yeah so the groups are basically complete. Yeah, I think it's, they are complete. So let me just make a modification here with, okay, row number four. And this one would go to the row number three. Perfect. <coughs> Set the invitation now, please. Go to the breakout room. And I will see you later. Floor, are you there? Look in a product. 
Ah, uh, yes. In, in my case, when, when I uh, buy whatever gadget, for example. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, Sulema. Good to see you. Laura. Hello. And Diana. Okay. Nice. Go ahead, ladies. I'm not going to interrupt you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Linda um, was telling us what things she used to buy at the... Like me. Like meat and food, I usually uh, look for better ones, not so... I don't know the the ones that sit better, and for maybe toilet paper and uh, nap napkins, maybe uh -huh. um, the more cheaper ones. Okay. And what has been the best and the worst purpose or that you have me? Yeah, purchase, purchase, maybe. compra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, purchase. I, I well I think it's my laptop the one I'm using today is the best buy I have made and the worst mm, a watch that I just used once and then it fell off and exploded and, <laughs> and got and got got work uh, broken and it broke broke okay. that are my so maybe it's my turn to ask you and also yeah you exactly you can, you can ask jennifer or, or irma that's correct uh -huh. is yet are you there jennifer yes teacher i'm here oh, okay okay Maybe I, I will go for Jennifer and Jennifer will go for Irma. With that way. Can you turn it? Can you turn on the camera, Jennifer, right now or not? No, teacher, because I was here. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> bon appetit. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot speak. Okay. Okay. I will start then. Uh, Jennifer, how often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy? Well, I don't have a, a frequency actually, but uh, sometimes I will, I go 15 days or a week. It depends of my necess necessities. Um, I sometimes I must usually. necessary things like food or other um, things for for my kids and sometimes I go with a couple of friends and I buy shoes comfort shoes actually I like sport shoes because comfort is so important to me. Um, that is pretty much what I bought. What I bought when I go to shopping. Okay. So the next question will be: uh, What aspect or characteristic do you look for a product? It depends. Most of the time quality because uh, I think the value of a product is in the quality because you can use it more and it lasts more. For example, if you buy um, see if you buy a uh, shoes, it's more important that has a uh, good quality for me. Um yeah that's it okay i'm 
I do think that for sure it's better <laughs> to buy uh, the better ones. <laughs> okay. uh, the last question will be, what has been the best purchase do you have made? And what has been the worst? Well, I can tell you what what um, pro is the better for me because I consider that I all the time I try to do what first or to look at the products that I want to buy. For example, when I wanted to buy a refrigerator, I look different options in different places. I compare quality, price, technology. Um, when I look at uh, the washing machine, I did the same. So I uh, can tell you what is the best. But about the words, I have to say that it's a centrifugador because they just let me that I have ever bought. Because uh, the, the words. Ganari? What? In, what in, in, in the worst purchase? Purchase? Mm -hmm. The worst. Purchase. Yes. What? The worst person that you, the, have, the, that you have the, made. The, the, uh -huh. What? What? what I, I'm sorry. I, I lost. <laughs> I asked you about what was the best purchase that you made. And the mm -hmm. second question is, what um, was the worst? I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know what, uh, I have many. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us one. I don't remember. Uh, Only one. Um, um, uh, um, uh, some headset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think that's some headset, but it don't I don't like them. <laughs> okay. And you Mariela, what has been the best purchase that you I, I bought? I want to say that but my computer fails, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for yeah. you. Yeah, it's a good computer, the Lenovo. Yeah, it's really good. I yeah, buy it's, it's, a, it's a little it's, it's a little expensive. It's a little expensive, but it's, it's good. The sound in the cell phone is is go, good good the, the second day, for example. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. The the yeah, cell phone it, is very good. The actual cell phone is yes. Cell phones yeah. are very bad. This is Charles. How do you say this is Charles? Can you help me, please? <laughs> How do you Teacher? say this is Charles? I'm not you, sure. You say it disposable. Is this full? Disposable. Disposable. Okay. disposable. Oh. disposable. Cell phones, no. disposable. Cell phones are disposable. The majority yes. of the products nowadays. <laughs> yes. Exactly yes. The majority. Yes. The, the, I mean, uh, is they do it on purpose. Uh, I mean, it's part of the marketing or strategies. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. We talk about yeah. the, 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 the cell phone in in two thousand when when we have a Motorola cell phone, for example, it's a, a little cell phone or, or Nokia. And this cell phone is very good. It, yeah. Be, between the, the, the. Sorry. Maybe the marketing right now is a uh, better, right? Uh, because yeah. obviously every year or less than a year, all the companies try to uh, present a new cell phone than the other, and all the people want to get that cell phone. And exactly, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and it's unnecessary. 
it's not un necessary. Un unnecessary, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. But it depends what's in your mind. Because yeah. when you have family, uh, well, in my case, I put uh, food, education, um, be, uh, I come. Bills are in the in the first place. Now, uh, yeah. um, fun and um, so. maybe well another thing aren't important. But if you don't have family, if you are alone and you have a good <laughs> job, I get salary. It doesn't matter about how cost a new cell phone or, but or you have your shoes. Many yes. money. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money yeah. exactly uh, I, I think that and um, well I think that is so but we can continue talking about the topic oh. okay the time is up So we're going to check that everybody's coming back. And then we're going to share just a little bit, okay? Because we didn't have so many groups. Uh, so in the group number one, uh, yeah, we're missing some people. Okay, they're coming now. Good. So in the group number one, uh, we had Beatriz, Mariela, and Janari. Uh, can you share a little bit about the question number one? You can raise your hand to participate. Oh, that's another thing that I, I, I didn't mention, guys. Uh, you can, when you see the reactions, you have uh, the claps, right? That is to congratulate the participation or something that your classmates did, right? Uh, you can use a thumbs up, right? For something that is really good. Or when, when I ask you, can you hear me? And you can use a thumbs up, like, yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, you can laugh without making noise uh, when something is funny. And then uh, surprise, like, wow, I didn't know that. A uh, heart when you love something. Like if I ask you, for example, do you like the activity that you were doing? And you use the reaction. Yes, we love that. Um, and then you have the ta-da, that is for victory, right? For celebration. So like somebody's birthday today. So happy birthday. And you use the reactions. And the raise hand, okay? That is really important when you want to participate. So. I tell, okay, I see that, uh, for example, uh, Roberto wants to raise his hand, so I know that he wants to participate. So I ask, okay, so Roberto, go ahead, please. So that gives me the, the reference on who is next in the participation, right? So the reactions can be really, really helpful in this, in this uh, platform. Now we're going to listen to somebody from the group number one about the question number one, how often do you go shopping and what do you usually buy? Um, Beatriz? Yes, in my case, I usually go shopping once a week and I usually buy food, school things for my kids. And I, bow, I buy uh, vegetables and fruit, cereals and, and other things. It's not, of course because uh, on the weekend we we watch a movie with my family so and, and we eating a lot at the same time okay okay you eat a lot at the same time awesome. yeah. 
So let me just check something here. Um, so we're going to listen to more groups, but in the, but before that, let me check. Okay, here. So I'm going to call out your name so that I write down whether you are present or not. So Beatriz, are you there? Obviously, yes. I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So my connection is a little unstable, apparently. I yes. think my, my nephew is using the internet, so I'm going sometime, to- Sometimes we, we can hear you very well, teacher. Okay, okay. So I'm going to turn off, well, stop my video for a moment. Maybe that helps a little bit. Um, and then I will activate it again, okay? So let's go okay. on. Okay. Uh, then we have Mariela, Ana Mariela. Mariela, are you there? Blanca, yes, Stephanie? can you hear me? Okay, yes, now I can hear you. Yeah, I'm the third, <laughs> I'm the third one. Yes, you're the third one now. Brent, well, Brenda is not present. She told me that she was sick. So, um, Diana? Present. Nice. Diego? Now here, then we continue with floor. Lori Dalma, I think she was driving home, so probably she's going to be there soon. Francisco Villacorta. Present teacher. Okay, Freddy Cortez is not here, but I'm sure that he's going to join us Today or tomorrow, uh, Laura Celada. Present teacher. Jacqueline Morales. Present. Okay, she prefers to be called Jackie, so you can call her Jackie. Uh, Harvin Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, nice to see you again, Harvin. Uh, Jennifer Sanchez. Um, Okay. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Juan Jose Avalos. I am here. Luis Adolfo. Well, I, this Present. case will be. So, which name do you prefer, um, Luis? And Gustavo. Gustavo. Okay, perfect. So, Gustavo. I will try to remember yeah. that it's Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo Asensio. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Uh, well, Maria Eugenia, we lost her connection, so she's not here right now. Then we continue with Miguel Angel Centeno. It's not present right now. Um, Roberto Ayala. I'm here. Okay, so do you prefer Roberto or Fabio? Fabio. Fabio, okay, so we have Fabio and we have Gustavo. Okay, excellent. Uh, well, Rolando is not here, and we have Janari Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Irma Najarro. Here. Which do you prefer, Irma or Roxana? Roxana. Roxana, okay. So I would remember that it's the, the, set, the middle name, right? So we have Roxana. Gustavo and Fabio. Perfect, so we're just missing Diego and Maria Eugenia, who are not here today. So uh, let's go on, okay, let's go on. So you already uh, had the opportunity to interact, so we're going to check the question number two. In the question number two, we are going to ask the group number two that was composed by Diana Flor. Teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did I mention your you name? You didn't Suleyma? mention my name. Amanda. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes, really. And Anna too. Okay, so let me check. Probably there was a problem with the with the list that I have here, or I didn't see the names. Okay, I'm going to check that. 
Also, you don't mention Anna Elizabeth. Ah, Anna Elizabeth, that's correct. Yeah, okay. So, let me check. And Selena Mendes. Got it. So I'm going to send a message about that. Okay, so in the group number two, thank uh, you. no, thank you for letting me know. Uh, uh huh. Mobilize. Okay, so I got it. So in the group number two, we had uh, Diana, Flor, Laura, and Suleyma. Uh, the question number two. Uh, the question number three, what aspects are important for us in a product? Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the first aspect. Uh, we cannot hear you so clearly. Diana, your voice sounds really yeah. far. Now? Now it's better. Now? <laughs> yes. Okay. The most important aspects for us in the product our first one, the quality, uh -huh. and the second one is the price. In the case of, of food, uh, the the taste of the of the food, right? Okay, it depends on the product. It depends on the product, exactly. Okay, uh, yeah, with food, it's another story, right? Because it's not only the price, but also the taste, right, of the food, and sometimes the place or the attention can can affect your perception. Okay, good. Thank you so much. You can use the reactions, don't forget, right, for the volunteers, for the participants. Something that I have to tell you guys, uh, uh, Fabio, uh, Gustavo, and Roxana, is that I, in every class, I try to listen to as many students as possible, okay? So, uh, I, I like to hear everybody, okay, if possible. Okay, if possible, everybody in one class. And that you learn something new in every class. If you don't learn something new, tell me. So I have a challenge to put something else, okay, in the next class. Uh, Yanari, you raise your hand. You wanted to say something? No, teacher, oh. nothing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so it was a, a little typo, a little finger mistake. Now we're going to continue with the group number three we had elizabeth uh, francisco jackie and harbin what was the answer that you had for the question number two what aspects do you look for in a product or in a, in a purchase group number three can i try it sure okay we we talk about the 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 best buy versus my worst purchase. Okay, so you want to share the answer about the about the question three? Go ahead. Yes, yes. For example, we talk about a uh, in in two thousand. For example, when we have a uh, the. Well, in, in my case, when, mm -hmm. when I have the first cell phone, uh, we have a, a Motorola. It's mm -hmm. a, a little cell phone with the, the, the screen is uh, blue or only, only, the, only you can see the, the, the text. Yeah. When we when, when have the, the gate, the, the chairs, the serpiente, the snake, uh huh, the snake, yes, mm -hmm. uh, when, when you are the comparative to the new cell phone is the new cell phone is very delicados or caring. Yeah. Between the, the the old cell phone, the old cell phone like the Nokia, right? That was uh and really long. really strong really strong yeah long that was an eternal cell phone right long lasting yes, when... long lasting cell phone yeah mm -hmm. okay 
So uh, as you could hear, they were talking about the, the best purchase. So in, they were talking about the quality of the cell phones in the past and in the present. Okay, in the group number four, thank you so much, Francisco. In the group number four, we had Blanca and okay. Gustavo. Blanca and Gustavo. Uh, so who wants to and share? Juan Jose. And Juan Jose, but I think that Juan Jose lost connection right now. Oh no, Juan Jose is there. Juan Jose is there too. So we have Juan yes, Jose, I am, yes, I Gustavo, am and Blanca. <laughs> So about the question number two, I would like to hear some opinions about the question number two that is about what aspects you look for in a product. This is important for the topic that we're going to be discussing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I can talk? Yeah, sure, yeah. go ahead. Uh, okay, maybe for me the, uh, the aspect is not important. Uh, for me is is more important is if I, I really need this, the, the things. So if I, if I really need, I buy it. And obviously I see the, the quality of this kind of things, mm -hmm. but um, no, no the aspect, no, no how look, no, not, nothing, nothing at all. So if I need these, these things, uh, I buy it. It's, okay. I, I think it's easy. <laughs> So it doesn't matter the price, it doesn't matter the brand. No. No, For okay. Example, if, if, if I need a, a video game, it's, it's, it's expense, but if I really need it, I... <laughs> if you really want it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, there, there is a big difference, <laughs> right, between needing something and wanting something, right? No, no, no. Uh -huh. this, this is important. This kind yeah. of thing okay. is very, See, very is important. <laughs> you need the video game. Okay, so I got it. I got the, I got the idea. Okay, excellent. So, uh, yes, because the, the happiness depends of what we buy. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, no. okay. <laughs> it's okay it's okay yeah i i cannot say anything about that because i have bought many things because i wanted them not because i really needed them but i told to myself right okay freddie you are working for a reason and you really need to buy that right uh yeah so yeah, it happens. And then uh, in the last, I think we're missing one group, no? Yeah, we're missing one group. That was Fabio, Jennifer, and Roxana. What is your opinion about the second question? What aspects, but I think that in, in Fabio was sharing an experience about the question number three, the best and the worst purchase. Can you share that, Fabio? Yes, yes, I can. I listen. Uh, I, I well, remember that you were talking about that when I entered the breakout room. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Um, well, uh, the the worst buy I have ever made it was a uh, watch. I just think, oh, I need a watch. I go shopping one. I just use it. Really, I just put it once in my uh, wrist. Wrist. Uh huh. And it go it says all so it got uh, loose, huh? It got loose and um, it broke, fell off and hit with a tiny rock and it broke into Just, pieces. Okay. Broke into pieces. <laughs> and I was and the like, best. Wow. The, the best, best is the best purchase is a laptop I kind of recently buy and it's, it's very good it's really good okay it's really good. yeah excellent so thank you so much guys uh yeah i think that we can have a discussion another day about the what is more important right the quality or if it's about the the brand so there are some questions that we're going to discuss uh, for me, this is the second time that I'm going to be giving this uh, this module. Uh, so it's really exciting because I really like the topic. It's it, I learned a lot of things when I when I was giving this this uh, module the first time. So you will realize that you learn you will learn a lot of things that you didn't know about 
products and um, let's say the process, right, of creating a product. So uh, let's get started with the conversation, okay? So we have some questions, first of all. Uh, question number one, uh, I am going to ask Roxana, can you please read the questions that appear in the part number one? Okay. Right here. Uh, how, mm -hmm. Okay. How important is, no, how, how important it is to plan to development, develop, development of a new product? Mm -hmm. And what happened? What happened if a product is launched? I don't show how it's launched. There is a little mistake here. Launched. Uh -huh. Launched. If launched to the market without be, being carefully developed. Developed. Um, mm -hmm. developed. Yes. And have you heard about a lot, lot of cars that are withdrawn withdrawn from the market and why do you think this, that happens that happens okay or why do you think this happens so how important is it to develop or or to plan the development of a new product on a scale from one to ten how important do you think that is to plan the development, right? The process of creating a new product. It's 10, I think. From it's one to 10, 10. it's 10. Why? 10, it's too much important. Why? Why, Blanca? Because if you don't plan, have to, you have you going to development of a product and you don't even think about the, the reaction of the possible customers, I think you have to plan if the product is going to work for the people. You have to prove the, the product and you, you have to put all of the process in a, in a procedures. I don't know, in procedures. So I think it's too much important to plan everything. Okay, okay. From the beginning, since since the idea came to the development of the final product, I think. Okay, I totally agree with you. Yeah, that's really important. Now, question number two. What happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Like in one week? Okay, we prepared everything. Okay, let's launch it. Let, let's offer the product on Facebook, on Instagram. What happens if you do that? Let's suppose that it's a restaurant and the new product is a, it's a hamburger and you create, you invent a new hamburger in, in one day and the next day you want to offer it to the, to the customers, to the public, to the social networks without carefully thinking about aspects, right? That are relevant. Okay, Beatrice, you raise your hand. Tell us yes. your opinion. I think you could, you, you could uh, lose money and customers. You could uh, lose money and customers. Yeah. Imagine if a new product and you don't give samples to the customers, maybe the product is not good. You can you and, and the you you can lose money for that reason, so you can lose the customers too. Okay, yeah, definitely. Uh, one bad decision can affect your company, right? And, exactly. and this happens in big companies, right? Not only in small businesses. Okay, excellent. So you can lose customers, you can lose um, money. Okay, that's true. And also another thing that you can lose is, is your, your popularity or your reputation, right? Um, not only the resources, but also your, those aspects. Okay, uh, I'm going to move on to the next one. Can you hear me? Yes or no? 
Hello. Yeah. Okay, yeah. teacher, we lose you. <laughs> that, oh my God. Do, do you remember that this happened exactly the first day of classes? Yes, yes. of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you I'm, have, to, I'm you have to turn out the, the, ca the camera that day. <laughs> I don't know. It's like my computer is... Or my intern is like, okay, Freddie, relax, take it easy. It's the first day. I don't know. It, but it happened this it was, it was Emilio, teacher. It was Emilio, yes, probably. Emilio. I mean, it's the same class, the first class. But then I didn't have that problem. So it's strange. Anyways, let's go on. I was telling you, right, that you can also affect your reputation, right? Because people can have a bad opinion about your company because of a bad decision that you make. Um, okay, hold on. I hear uh, some noise, so please make sure that your microphones are off. Okay, and then I'm going to share the screen one more time. So we continue with the discussion. I will turn off my camera. Maybe, maybe that's the reason. Um, okay, so the question number three uh, was have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? Yes or no? Teacher, yes. where, where is withdraw? Withdraw. Oh, okay, withdraw is to take, uh, to take, yeah. take from the market. Okay, taken that the, they have been taken from the market. So, they for example, the market. yeah, they have been taken out from the market. Like, for example, Some uh, something expired or something like that no withdraw when you when you go to the atm right to el cajero automatico the atm uh, you withdraw money withdraw money so withdraw is the action of taking something off okay or taking something out of a place withdraw withdraw is similar okay. to eliminate to the market uh, take out take out of the market uh, it's, it's more discontinue. It's, it's more like uh, you send it to the to the dealer to yeah to fix it. Yeah, exactly. Retirar, okay. Retirar, withdraw, okay. Uh, in this case, retirados, right? Has escuchado alguna vez sobre lotes de carros que han sido retirados del mercado? No, but I heard about the not the the Samsung Note. I don't know what is the number. I think that it's the five or the four that okay. it's been withdrawn from the market. Six right? from the market. Note six or seven, like something like that. Something so like seven. that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Something like that. I think that. it was a note seven, I think. Night, no, exactly. Note seven, I think. Uh-huh. So there are products yeah. that they take out of the market or they withdraw from the market because they had a, a big fail in the in the in the system battery right, or, problems or battery problems. No, that it they, was a, they were yeah, exploding. battery problem. Uh -huh, exactly. So I have heard about cars that have been withdrawn from the market. Uh, to be honest with you, the the sometimes the problem has been the name of the car. Like they have to change the name of the car because in the in the in the, in another country it's a different meaning, so they have to use, they have to change the name. But yeah, there have been cars that had problems and they have to withdraw the cars because of accidents, because of different issues. So, why do you think that happens? I already gave you the I already gave you the answer, but we're going to listen to Juan Jose. <laughs> Okay, but but not necessarily what what do I think that happens is um, I think that it's big difference when you make a product, mm -hmm. when you um, give a class because mm -hmm. the product is bad, you withdraw. 
-hmm. but when a student didn't improve, you didn't withdraw. Okay, that that's that's a that's a point. You cannot withdraw the student just because they 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 are not good. Okay, uh, Beatrice, you want to mention something? Yes, teacher. Maybe the company didn't test the product previously. Some oh, companies yeah. usually use a test marketing for these things because they had to take before they launch to the to the market. True. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't do the, the correct testing, right, of the product. Yes. So it happens. It happens. Okay, and with cars, it's something really, really delicate. Uh, Gustavo, uh, please tell us. Uh, yes, but in this case, uh, for example, I saw the, um, I passed this situation before. Um, we have problems with the airbags from the cars. So the dealers say, or the dealers or the company, Toyota, mm -hmm. send it a, a, a letter for each, each of, of, of the uh, owner, the, owner. The each car, okay. yes, to, to send immediately the, the cars to the dealer. Because a, when the cars have a, a small a hit in, in the front of car, the airbags explode completely, explode all the airbags in the car. So this, this damage only happened when the, the cars uh, have a, a, a small hit in the, in the front. Oh, okay. Okay, so, you, yeah. you, don't see, you don't see this problem uh, if you prove it uh, hitting the car in, in the testing. No, because mm -hmm. the, the, the airbags explode. Yeah. So the problem is, is in, in the day to day in the car, they have a small hit and they explode completely the, the airbag. So uh, they, they send more or less uh, almost 1.5 million of cars to, to the dealer to change this, wow. this, this, to send, to replace this, this uh, failure these airbags. Uh, yes. the airbags so imagine they spend millions of dollars in that so it's a lot of money okay so it can be catastrophic as they say right now we're going to continue and um uh, we we have a conversation between rodrigo and edgar they are the founders of speech masters an academy to help business people become better at public speaking public speaking is really important right um they want to offer a new course and they are discussing the characteristics of their new product. Read the conversation, okay? So right now, just listen and read. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner, it's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I'm, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, simple as that. There are some keywords here that we are going to be studying later on okay for example screening okay or concept development and testing right the business analysis so we're going to pay attention to those words familiarize with them because this module we're going to go into business okay so after this product you're going to have your company and you're going to create products and you're going to know the steps to create a product so think about it right you're not only learning English, okay? From the previous module, you had the idea of a restaurant and how to create a menu and stuff like that. But now we're going into more serious issues. So let's practice, okay? Uh, I need a couple of volunteers before we go to the breakout rooms and you can practice in purse. 
So a couple of volunteers who want to break the ice and try to say the conversation together. Okay, Juan Jose and Blanca. Perfect. So Blanca, you are Rodrigo and Juan Jose, you are Edgar. Ready, set, yeah. and go. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down an, any idea related to market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but I still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, Bernard. It's, it's not a big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Okay. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> okay. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time. I will teach you now you how to do it. And I will teach you how to do it. There you go. Excellent. Okay, reactions for them, claps. And ta-da. Now we're going to the breakout rooms. So uh, you can take a screenshot. Okay, take a screenshot. Las capturas de pantallas les pueden ayudar, ¿verdad? Para practicar en los breakout rooms. So take a screenshot because I will send you to the breakout rooms in pairs. Okay, in pairs to practice this conversation. So ready? Set, you will practice the conversation in the two roles. First, you are Rodrigo, and then you are Edgar. And you will have exactly three minutes since the moment that you enter the breakout room. Okay, one, two, and three. Accept the invitation, please. And go to the breakout room. Uh, Jackie, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, we had some problems with, with Flora, so she couldn't join the, the breakout room. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring Fabio here. Oh, ah, she's here. here. Okay, so I'm going to join the other one. Flor, can you hear me? Mm, not sure. So Flor, are you there? Let me bring uh, Fabio here. So okay. he can help you. Okay. Okay. Here you are. Okay, Fabio, you're going to practice with Jennifer. Okay, hello, Jennifer. Hello, Flo. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I Thank you, teacher. Relax. I've done, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time. I wonder if I could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First? You should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but, uh, but... Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. Uh, first, you, you should write down any idea uh, related Related to the relator to the marker, we want to offer off courses. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It is no big player. We shall go for the screening, development, and testing in testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, 
I've done this kind of for before. Just give me the time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's do it again. Hi, Jarvin, Harvin. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea. Okay. okay. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers. I'm not sure. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Okay. Okay. So you're feeling better, Diana and Suleyma? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, it's good news. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. Uh, first, All right. So, Teacher. what? What happened? You give us um, a little, how do you say, um, muy poco tiempo. Very little time. And I, uh, I, no. I was alone first. I was alone first and I haven't practiced enough. Don't worry, you're going to be the first one to practice right now. So you have extra opportunity. <laughs> There's okay. always a solution. <laughs> okay, so Jennifer and Fabio, right? Right. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Teacher, can you please share, Show the... The, share the screen? Yeah, no problem. Give me a second. There you go. Hi, Fabio. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our, our course. Mm -hmm. Good idea, but I am still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not a big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Good. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I have done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. And I will teach Thank you how you. to do it. Okay, there you go. So reactions for them, please. Excellent. Now I saw that Diana was raising her hand. So do you want to try it out? Yes. Okay, so Diana yes. and Suleyma. Okay. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it, is so, it, it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It is not a real deal. After the idea generation, we should go to the screening to the concept development and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I have done this kind of work before. Just give me a time and I will teach you how to do it. And I will teach you how to do it. How to, how to do it. 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 There you go. Okay, excellent, very good. Do we have a, two more volunteers before we go to the next exercise? Okay, let me check who raised a hand. So we have Beatriz, who was your partner, Beatriz? I think it was Mariela, right? And Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth, me. okay. It was one of the Annas. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. it's the so, couple. Hey, it's, ni <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Elizabeth. Go ahead. Thank you. Nice to see you too. Okay. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, 
write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it is still so confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner, it's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screen, the concept development and tasting the business analysis. 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 Analysis, uh-huh. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I had done this kind of work before. Just give me time and we'll teach you how to do it. Okay, there you go. Reactions, please. Now I'm going to choose the, ta -da. So um, just pay attention, right? These kind of conversations help you to have an idea about how a conversation in a business context goes, right? It's not the typical conversation on, hi, how are you? What's your favorite color, right? So this is more, or what do you like to do on the weekend? No, this is not an everyday conversation. This is a, a business, right? A technical conversation that includes some specific vocabulary. So to identify the words, okay, to identify the words, what you should do, right? As I, I have told you since the last course, write down, take notes on the new expressions, the new vocabulary, write down the pronunciation, the way that you hear the word, right? So if I write, for example, if I write down the word, screening in my notebook if okay in the class the teacher says screening i say screening but when i study i practice at home i don't remember did he say screening or screening or screening i don't remember so for that reason it is important that when you take notes you write down in parentheses or slashes right plecas the way that you hear the word okay if you hear screening you write screening like like that in your notebook so uh, identify, right? Identify new, uh, new terms, new terminology, uh, like business plan, business analysis, screening, uh, concept development. Those are some keywords. You can identify the words that are a little bit difficult for, for you to pronounce. For example, uh, some people have issues with the word relate. They say relate or but it's related, right? Um, another one, uh, how, when we, you are using or you're trying to, to connect the sounds, right? How to, this is something that is not in the book. This is something that is not in, uh, it's not formal. It's something uh, characteristic of the way that people use the language in the United States right they don't say how to they say how to hey how do you how do you do it how are you doing for example when you're asking about you right uh, do you know how to how to get to the park and you are like okay i think that my level of english is not good but if you see the words you are like ah how to get ah okay i didn't understand when you say how to okay so it's something that it's not difficult but you need to pay attention right too so um I think that's all, uh, yeah, confusing, um, anything else? No, just that. Uh, so we're going to uh, write down, okay? That's a phrasal verb, write down. And um, I've done, this is about grammar, okay? I've done, and the other one where you can see that, I have never, right? I have never done. So as you remember, one of the topics that we're going to study is related to this, right? Um, so the pronunciation, for example, here, should remember that you don't pronounce the letter L. So it's like if you eliminate it, right? You say should, right? Hey, what should I do? Should I? So you don't pronounce the D when with I, you, you say should I, you say should I? So you pronounce it like an R. So those are the little details that make a difference between speaking like, a, let's say like a language learner or speaking the language like a native speaker, right? It's like Spanish, right? People, I mean, in Spanish, we have the way to speak it. And when people learn it from the book, it's different to the Spanish that we speak in every day. So um, 
let's go on to the next one that would be this one right here i'm going to clear all the drawings and move to this okay so question number one um let me check Yanari, give me a number from one to ten, please. Um, one to ten, uh, seven. Seven. Okay. So Fabio, uh, Roxana, and um, let me check Gustavo. Right, that was the name that you mentioned. Uh, when I don't have volunteers. I like to choose the volunteers, so don't be surprised if I say your name, even if you didn't raise if you didn't raise your hand. <laughs> so number seven, right? Number seven. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be Blanca. So Blanca, do you think Rodrigo could develop the new curve successfully by himself? Why or why not? Mm. No, I think that. He can't because he don't have too much idea how to do it. He don't that or he doesn't? he doesn't? He doesn't. He doesn't have doesn't. many Sorry. ideas on how to do it. How to do it, yeah. Okay, so probably he yeah. wouldn't be successful. Okay, good. By uh, himself, by himself. By himself. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, if, if he has a little help, he can do it. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have much experience, right? Now, let's continue. Question number two. Can you give me a number from one to five, Blanca? One to five. Three. Three. Okay. One, two, three. That would be Roxana. What is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Struggling comes from the verb struggle. Struggle is to have difficulty, to have to fight with something, okay, to achieve something or to complete something. For example, when I was studying English, I had to, str I struggled with the subject phonetics, with the phonetic subject. It was difficult. I had to struggle. With grammar, no, it was very easy, but with phonetics, I had to struggle. So, uh, Roxana, what is the step of the product development uh, okay. process that Rodrigo is struggling with? Okay, Rodrigo uh, didn't have to, to know where to start the... Ah. Uh, sorry. Uh, firstly, he didn't have any idea related to the market uh, to offer to the people, for example. And he didn't know where to start. Where to start, right? How to, how to start or how to create a curse. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Give me a number from one to 10, please. Eight. Eight. So the volunteer number eight mm -hmm. is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Laura, what steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the new product? What steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the new product? Laura, are you there? Yes, I'm here, but I don't know the answer. Okay, now? Yeah. What are the steps that he has to take after identifying the target market? So, Laura? I will give you- a, I don't know. <laughs> I will give you a clue. It's over here. In this part.
Now? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Okay, so don't worry. That's okay. I know that there is someone who wants to help you out. And the person after Laura is Fabio. You're next. Okay. Um, first, uh, generating the idea. Mm -hmm. Then screening it. Yes. I think. Then it goes the concept development and finally testing the business analysis. That's correct. So those are the steps that you, they should, he should follow, right? In order to complete the process. Excellent. Thank you so much for the volunteers. And now I am going to just finish uh, with uh, some indications. When you see these, uh, these links, you know that you can access to the links, right? From your computer, or your cell phone, and you can read or you can watch some videos related to that. So uh, for example, here we have two important links. One is for the product development cycle, like what is the, the process, right? And the other one is the eight simple steps for new product development, like step-by-step, step, how can you develop one product in eight steps? So take a look at that, right? If I suppose that somebody in this group is interested in having his or her own business. I suppose that you have that in your in your mind. So think about it, right? You can learn a lot of interesting things here. Now I'm going to call out your name guys for the closing so that I can check who is finishing the session. Uh, so we start with Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Uh, Mariela. I'm here. Blanca. I'm here. Diana. I'm here. Diana, by the way, you are the first person in the list for the extra 10 minutes. Can you stay? <laughs> um, okay. I think you were the first oh, one oh, in the no. previous one, right? Yeah, can I be the second one? Only if the second person Why? wants. Why? Why? Because I was the first one last time. <laughs> okay. And well, I can prepare the dots for tomorrow. Uh huh. So the, in this case, we don't have Brenda. So Jennifer would be the third one. Then, uh, so Jennifer, you can let me know. If not, Diana, don't worry. We're going to think. We're going to discuss about what 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 problems or what topics you can. Uh, emphasize more. Okay. Uh, Diego? Floor? Francisco? Here, teacher. Okay, Laura? Present, teacher. Aquí? Harvey? I'm here. Okay, thank you, Aquí. Present, teacher. Present, present. Okay, Jennifer? Juan Jose? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Jennifer and Juan Jose, thank you. Gustavo? I'm here. Okay, Fabio? I'm here. Yanari? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Roxana? Present, teacher. Suleima? And? I'm here, teacher. Elizabeth? I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, uh, okay, got it, Diana. No, no problem. So, guys, do you have any questions or comments before we finish today's session? No. No one. Everything's no. clear. It's a clear like horchata. Clear like horchata. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, remember, tomorrow we have the second session, and after that, you are free on vacations and we come back to classes Ooh. on August, Monday, August 9th. So Ooh. yes, wow. so you have time to Ooh. relax. August, uh, Monday, Monday? Monday yes. 9th. Uh, Monday. 9th, that's correct. Nine. Okay, okay. So I will see you tomorrow at the same time, right? With the same classmate, the same teacher. And hopefully the rest of your classmates are going to be with us tomorrow. So you will get to meet them. 
and interact with them. So tomorrow we don't have extra indications. So everything's going to be about practicing and learning new things. So uh, it was a pleasure to see you guys. Take good care of yourself. I hope that you, you rest a little bit and you have a really good day tomorrow. Nice to meet you guys, the okay. Flavio, Gustavo, Roxana. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 How are you doing, Diana? I'm doing great today. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Finally. When did you yeah. recover? Did you finish recovering from the flu? Uh, it wasn't flu. It wasn't sickness like nauseous. Ah, oh, you were nauseous. Yeah. Okay, so you... Okay. Yeah. So it was the baby symptoms. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. That was horrible. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't eat almost just uh, oranges, um, water, <laughs> bananas, those kind of things. Wow. You're going to yeah. lose a lot of weight in that way. Yeah. Yeah. But it's for the first quarter, just for the first quarter. And the second one, maybe it's going to be better. Yeah. It's the first it's the first time also that's yeah. you're learning through the process yeah but yeah. this week i'm um, finishing my first quarter so <sighs> i'm happy for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> finally <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um i have a question what mm -hmm. is the difference between older and another oh that's an excellent question mm -hmm. Uh, well, there are some things that you need to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, when you say uh, another, uh, mm -hmm. we use it for singular. Okay, we use it for singular. So um, that's something that you have to remember. Another. Another is for singular. Singular. Okay, always. It's not possible to say another people. It's not possible to say another friends mm. or another students. No. Another uh, class? Another classes. No. Oh. Not use, you cannot use for, for Pluto, only for singular. Okay. Mm. So. I'm take note of that. Just okay. Wait. Another. Another. It's used for singular. Singular. Singular nouns. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then with other, other, mm -hmm. uh, we can use, well, we use it for uh, specific things, right? For example, uh, some people prefer uh, Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Other people. Mm -hmm. So we can use it with plural. Okay, we use it with plural, other people, other students, other countries, other, mm -hmm. etc. So we use it with plural. Uh, for instance, uh, in Latin America, uh, most, most countries speak Spanish, mm -hmm. but other countries like the US or Canada speak English. Um, Mm -hmm. So other countries, because uh -huh. there is, okay, I'm going to add an extra one. Okay. So we use another for singular and we use other for plural, right? And mm -hmm. we use, and we also have others with S, others. Others. Uh -huh, others. So what is the difference? But it's not, not common, right? It is common. Others, it is, it is common. common. It is common. So uh, I can say, uh, most countries uh, are against Bitcoin. 
Most countries are against. What is the meaning one. of of against? Against is opposite to. Not in favor. Ah. Mm -hmm. Contra. Oh, okay. Contra. Against. You can say against or you can say uh, against, but it's not so common. Most people say against. So, um, so most, most, most countries are against Bitcoin, mm -hmm. but others, but mm -hmm. others are in favor. But we can say, but other. No. no, the thing is that when we use others, we omit the noun. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. It's like when you say, for example, I like this, uh, this, this glass, and I like this one. Uh -huh, I like this one. So you omit the or the, when you noun. Uh -huh, or when you say, this is. Uh, this is my computer mm -hmm. and this is mine too mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is mine too so it's, mm -hmm. you don't you don't mention the the, the object because mm -hmm. you already have a ref a, a previous reference so uh in this case if i say um uh, i would say most people, most people prefer chocolate. Mm -hmm. Most people like chocolate, love chocolate, but others mm -hmm. uh, hate it. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. So uh, that would be the other one. So we have another, other, and others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another okay. and other, they require, they need the noun mm -hmm. to which they are referring. Okay. But others doesn't. We use others mm -hmm. when we have a previous reference and we don't want to repeat the same noun again. So okay. if I say, uh, for example, um, let's talk about cell phones, right? Many cell phones have uh, Android mm -hmm. operating system, but others have their their own system like mm -hmm. iPhone or I don't know the new cell phones right that they have their mm -hmm. own system so um that okay or Microsoft Microsoft uh, I mean has their own cell phones that have their own system like the Nokia the new Nokias have the Microsoft operating system so uh, uh -huh, so we use uh -huh. others for plural and when we omit the the noun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and another is just for singular nouns just for singular noun yeah and we don't uh, and when we when we and when we want to omit the noun in another another one <laughs> another one oh another one. yeah yes Another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clear. Clear as crystal. Okay. <laughs> crystal clear. That is expression. Everything is crystal clear. It's totally clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it was nice to see you again. And I'm glad that you and your baby are okay, Diana. Have Thank a good, good night. Thank you, teacher, you too. Thank you for staying, okay? I will see you tomorrow. See God you. Willing. We yes. have classes tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Never okay, teaching. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, see you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.